I don't think Danny Levy will want to sell Harry Kane to Manchester United because it hello people welcome to the United Way I hope you're having a great time it's Monday guys I mean positivity is what we are going to move on through here this week Manchester United will be playing on Wednesday against Rexton if some of you don't know Rexton it's a, I think it's, uh, it's, a, it's a team owned by a Hollywood movie star and uh, we'll be having this game I think our second team will be playing this game but in this video today we will not be talking about that we'll do our uh, match pre our preview of this game Rexford we'll do that tomorrow but today we will talk about uh, transfer Manchester United you know we need to buy an attacker center forward and for us to do so we need to sell so guys before we kick off please make sure you click the like on the video subscribe to the United Way we want to hit this summer 10k if we can do that you can help us reach 10,000 subscribers that would be fantastic share with all communities because we want to bring in journalists into our platform so it, which can answer your question but yeah you know Manchester United we need to buy some players we need to bring in one more midfielder we need to also bring in an attacker an elite attacker or some would say an attacker for the long term but um, yeah I'll ask a question on this video between Harry Kane and Rasmus Ho Holland who do you prefer between Harry Kane and Rasmus Holland and explain to me why and why you prefer you took a choice right because it's important as a United fan for us to understand what the fans also think about it's not about me but yeah the news here is that you know Teles uh, Alexi Telex uh, has left Manchester United he has gone to meet Cristiano Ronaldo at El Nasri uh, in uh, Saudi Arabia uh, Super League the, the fee there was like was reported to be four to five million pounds which well is Manchester United so we'll take that but uh, you know for United also to, to buy as I said we have to sell in that sense we need to sell a lot of players and the players which we are talking about selling here we know that Elanga and Tony has gone for 15 million pounds to Nottingham Forest so I just want to try to see how United can raise 50 million or maybe close to 100 million uh, pounds here uh, this year by selling players we have a player like Elanga living for 15 million we have another Teles living for five that's 20 already I think our goalkeeper Henderson Dean Henderson will go for Nottingham Forest for at least 25 million because United won 30 so 30 for 25 million that would be already 45 if Fred was a City player he would go for nothing less than 20 25 million he has a one more year contract but I think Fred will go for 15 million because he is Manchester United Manchester United we are the charity club in the Premier League where we sell uh, cheaper than what we buy even if we have a talent right so let's say Fred goes for 15 and that we have made already 60 that's 60 million pounds already in sales with Fred then we have uh, I, I'm not sure McTominay will leave except there is a very good offer so that's my view uh, McTominay will not leave but uh, there are reports that Harry Maguire is also looking for his uh, opportunities and uh, maybe West Ham may come back uh, because we know Harry we know Moise uh, is a fan of Harry Maguire and we don't know I mean we don't know if this is what if he's going to go for Harry Maguire tell me guys below does my Harry Maguire fits a West Ham I think or an Everton because personally I think he fits a West, a West Ham more than an Everton West Ham seems to be playing in Europe this season and also they have uh, maybe a budget better than Everton and uh, their recruitment also is in that bad so um, uh, Harry Maguire going out if Harry Maguire goes out we know we'll get at least 30 for Harry Maguire the, we, I mean he's, he's the, the, the ex-captain of, <laughs> of Manchester United uh, and also an international uh, an, an elite and international for the English national team so Harry Maguire deserves that respect so <laughs> tell me below what you think about Harry Maguire how much will you sell Harry Maguire don't tell me from a back of chips because I think Harry Maguire actually is a good player but he doesn't the issue here never forget no matter what you think about Harry Maguire the, is, the reason why Harry Maguire is leaving Manchester United is not because he's a bad player that is not the point the reason why Harry Maguire is leaving Manchester United because he doesn't suit the system in which Ten Hag wants to play which we need and we need quick attack defenders some of you think uh, the signing of players are done uh, are done because of the love of an uh, individual collection or the love of the manager or the player going to the other the team then I wants to play a particular way so he's looking for players that can fit the pattern of play of Manchester United next season don't think Ten Hag is a, a, a massive friend or of uh, Andro Nana he knows Andro Nana will bring value to Manchester United and that's why he has told uh, the United hierarchy by the way to buy Andro Nana so I think uh, if we sell um, and that's why I run Joe Nana is in Manchester United and sorry for all the noise here I'm on, on my penthouse here yeah they have gone but yeah so that's where we are and um, I want to say this we have done Fred Elanga we have done Harry Maguire for 30 that will sum it up to maybe I think uh, it was 50 it was 60 right yeah 30 that's 90 already right 
Then uh, I think we're missing one more player, yeah. We have Dean Anderson. Uh, yeah, so that's roughly 90. So that's roughly 90, which is um, a sum of money that can bring in two players in, in Manchester United. We can bring Amrabat and we can bring also Rasmus Holland. See, if United is buying Rasmus Holland, it will be 50. It won't be more than 50 plus add-ons. Or, because it's a risk. In life, there's risk of everything. Some of you will say this. But this is a massive risk because we're buying a player due to his, his reputation just for one season. And he, he wasn't like a stable player. I think they're taking a total advantage of us. But one of the reasons why I think United needs to take this very seriously is simple. Let me fix the camera, guys. It seems... Uh, well, one of the reasons why United need to take this is because we now know that PSG, Paris Saint-Germain of, Fra of France, are interested in Rasmus Holland. You know, two decades ago, well, the wealthy guys in football, that's Real Madrid, right? They started the Galatitos and um, the Qataris took uh, PSG and started buying players, building a reputation and, you know, over inflating the market. And now it seems as if this is not a PSG uh, uh, channel, but it seems as if um, Kylian Mbappe, uh, PSG wants to sell Kylian Mbappe because there are some reports there uh, that uh, that, PSG, that uh, a team in Saudi Arabia is ready to give Mbappe a billion dollar salary a season to come and play uh, in Saudi Arabia in, in Saudi Arabia and uh, PSG will want to catch in on him because he is not even in the preseason so um, that makes me uh, think that uh, this, the, the, the interest for Rasmus Holland will be serious, it's serious. So United needs to act very fast or we will miss out on, on Rasmus Holland. Th there's also an issue here that uh, Manchester United, that Harry Kane has been told by, David, uh, by Levy, right? The CEO, uh, Danny Levy, so that uh, he has to sign a, a contract and uh, he won't be allowed to leave for free next season. We know reports are saying that the Harry Kane's wife was spot on, it was spot dead in um, Munich, in Munich last week. That was the mirror who came out with that, and also the son also came out with that story. But um, Harry, Harry Kane wants to break Alan Shearer's record, EP, uh, EPL uh, record. For, for him to do that, he needs to stay in the, in the Premier League. That's why uh, there are also some suspicions that Harry Kane might consider going to Manchester United. I don't think Danny Levy will want to sell Harry Kane to Manchester United because he will have to resign, especially if it happens that Kane leaves Tottenham Hotspur and they don't qualify for the Champions League next year and Harry Kane qualify with Manchester United next year. That's why I think uh, even United, if United comes in even with 100 million, I don't think uh, Tottenham will want to sell Kane to us. But we've had also some developments here about how uh, Ten Hag made the decisions. That was for this is from the Athletic. How Ten Hag made the decision to bring in Onana to Manchester United. We were told uh, the Athletic just came out. The uh, paper said uh, Manchester United were interested in uh, Onana even before the finals which most of you guys came to know him because the finals of the Champions League is well is shown worldwide the audience is massive but uh, Ten Hag always has been interested in bringing this player but on the other hand Ten Hag really appreciated David De Gea and that the error that De Gea, De Gea did in that finals of that cup he just pulled the plug on Ten Hag and said you know what if we have a chance to bring in another goalkeeper then we better do so, so as the market kicked off. Well, when we understood that it would be very difficult for us to bring in Harry Kane, then Tenak said we should go for Andronana because he Ten Hag, if for those of you who have appreciated Ten Hag's job in Manchester United, you know that one of the best things he has done, he has built us a very good defence. And he believes that if we can have a good defence, and uh, we can have a good season. Maybe we won't win a league, but we can have a good season. And I think his strategy is working. So there we go. Guys, this is our merch. We haven't posted it yet, but guys, all I can tell you guys that we also have football caps here from the, the United Way. Get involved with the United Way because we're doing a giveaway after this preseason where we will choose one of the most interactive uh, uh, fans on the channel and um, ping um, one of these caps to you guys. So uh, with that all said, guys, Please make sure you smash a like on the video and get involved with the United Way, as I said uh, earlier on. But I have this question for you guys. Who will you go for, Harry Kane or Rasmus Holland? Tell me below. Don't just call names, but just tell me as a fan, someone who's enthusiastic, someone who understands Manchester United, why will you choose any of these attackers? Without that said, talk to you soon, guys.